In Dragon's Dogma 2, a lot of the very best and most powerful pieces of gear and strongest weapons in the game are actually tied in towards the very end game. And in order to get hold of these, you're going to need to farm a special resource, one that's actually quite hard to get hold of. That's going to be one called Worm's Life Crystal. However, in order to get hold of these, you're going to have to take out some of the toughest enemies, and that's going to be that of Drakes. If you're anything like me, your experience has been a little bit hit and miss with these, and even though I know exactly where they spawn, I found myself finding them, or they just wouldn't turn up where I thought they were going to be, and it tended to be a bit of a long journey for nothing a lot of times. With this guide, I think I found the ultimate place, the very best spot in the game, have them not run away for some reason in this area, because they never tend to fly off, as well as being able to spawn them pretty much every single time we need to. Now in order to do this, you will have to have played quite a bit of the game, as we're going to make it all the way down to the very bottom part of the map, and that's going to be this bit just here, the Volcanic Island Camp, in the Agamemnon Volcanic Island. Now the great thing about this, it's not actually that far to get to the Drake we're after, and it's got everything we need within this camp, so if you need to stock up, if you need to rest, if you need to get whatever you need resource wise, you can quite easily do that. There are a couple of salamanders and a few other enemies that you may need to take out in the way, but eventually you're going to make your way there and you'll see it off in the distance. Now I found the great thing about this as well, if you want to, I must admit I tend to do it every time because I'm not completely chocked up with a perfect build yet, you're going to hug a little bit of the grassy mountain range, make your way around, just up to the top here, and then you'll be able to go straight to a campfire. This is absolutely perfect as you'll be able to rest if you've taken any damage or even if you haven't you'll be able to make sure you cook something up nice in order to make your team as powerful as possible when you're tackling this enemy. Then you're going to go in, absolutely devastate it, give it everything you've got in order to take it down as fast as possible and remember aim for the heart whenever you can because that's going to do the most damage. Now in other areas I found for some reason I had to target the wings in order to keep them staying still or to make it so they didn't fly away. With this I haven't had any issues so far. So let me know in the comments if they ever fly for you. But for me I've not actually had one fly away yet which is absolutely amazing. I'm going to put a guide together saying exactly how to take these out best but I found as long as you've got a nice mage on your team who can heal you and a sorcerer that can do some cold effects that works absolutely ideal especially if you've got one of them doing some kind of silence effect as well as that's just going to make your life a whole bunch easier when you're tackling these drakes. Take them out, get your rewards and most time you'll be able to get yourself between 10 to 15 Worms Life Crystal as well as a few other goodies. Once that's done you're going to make your way back to the camp, stay at the inn if you want to or obviously you could have gone to the campfire and then I found if I stayed at the inn I sat outside on the bench afterwards around about 16 times or you can do it 20 times if you haven't stayed at the inn. That might be a bit overkill so let me know if I've done it a little bit too long but every time I did this I went back to the area and I found that a dragon had respawned again. Absolutely ideal, it works out perfect, this is definitely the best location I've found for the consistency at staying and fighting and not trying to run off, or should I say fly off. But yeah, hopefully this helped a few of you guys and girls out, there'll be a lot more content on the way from me. As always, Wolfins Gaming, take care. I'll see you on the next day.